Good afternoon and Merry Christmas from your friends at the state of Kansas. We got some fresh snow here and today in beautiful Minneapolis, Kansas. I know I've done tours of this town before, but I just wanted to show it again with a nice fresh snowfall. Not much has changed in Minneapolis, Kansas since our last tour a few months ago. Um, you know, really everything I said stays true. The town is a really excellently well-run town about 30 miles outside of Salina, Kansas, which is a you know fairly decent-sized city for this state. So if someone's looking to live there and commute out to a nice, quiet place that's run very, very well, can't go wrong with a place like this. Or live in Minneapolis and commute to Salina yeah. for a job. That's what I was saying. You know, if someone wanted to live here and commute, if I... Had a, if my career was in Salina, I would have no issue with living here because the drive wouldn't really be that far, you know, 25, 30 minutes on a bad day. And it's got everything you need. It's, you know, it's got all the small town charm, It's but it's got the small town essentials. It's got, you know, pharmacy, dentist's office, and of course they have Casey's, which I did not know about until I lived in Kansas because every place I ever lived, like, people would be like, gas station food sucks. Casey's Pizza is the shit. There, there's no other this way around it. It's the best it. pizza. It's freaking amazing. I don't know what it is they do, whether it's just high-quality ingredients or what, but they have it down to a science. Their sub sandwiches are pretty good, too. Yeah, that's true. I haven't had one of those in a while. As you can see, with, you know, typical Midwest small town, you've got some just beautiful, what do you call these, like, Victorian homes? There are some, yeah. Yeah. That just, you know, some of the architecture is just, just, you know, glorious to look at. And there's the cute little uh, cottages such as those we just passed right there on the right. We have a Dollar General, too. Oh, yep, have a Dollar General. Now, Pizza Hut closed, but let's be real. With a place like Casey's where you can get your pizza for half the price. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was a lot of people upset about that, though. I get it, but I don't recall ever seeing Pizza Hut very busy, you know? It used to be a lot. Like, we'd go there all the time, but they took away... Since COVID hit, they took away the buffet. They... So, it just... They took away the salad bar. Oh, when, the Pizza Hut salad bar was the shit back in yeah, the day. When I worked, when I was in high school, on my lunch break at work, I'd come up here and get a salad. Oh, hell yeah. Make an awesome salad. Well, um, our son, he used to hit the local Pizza Hut uh, lunch buffet at high school, his yeah. you know, junior and senior year. That's exactly, you know, where he hit. But they quit doing that. They've got a Dollar General here, and they've got a very nice, if you're ever coming to this town, it's called Rock City Motel. Super nice and clean, run by a very nice family. Yeah. We've stayed there before. It was very, very nice. I mean, it's not the Four Seasons, but it was nice and clean. A lot of custom cutters, when they come in to work harvest, will stay there. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Well, you know, what do you want when you're visiting a small town like this? You want a clean room, comfortable bed, and a good TV. They, they supply that, so you really can't ask for anything more. Now, as we go back through the downtown section, we're going to point out a couple of things here just to prove as to a little bit more as to what I was saying, what we haven't touched upon in previous videos. Um, yeah, I could say as a person who's done a fair amount of traveling, I'd like to say I've been to, I've been to all, every state capital, 80 countries. It's you know, I've, I've seen some shit. So this town is extremely well run, and from what I understand, it's run by people who know what they're talking about. I've talked to people. I'm not going to name names. I've talked to people on the council, and they seem to know, you know, what they're doing, which is something you know it's important when you're looking for a place to uh, settle down. Not like in Topeka, to where a pothole will be there for six years. These people actually know what the hell they're doing. That's what I was trying to say. There's politics anywhere you go. But oh sure. The one thing about Minneapolis is, at least when I grew up here, is everybody knows everybody for the most part. Yeah. If people, they help their neighbors out, it's just, huh. there are a lot more new people in town that I don't even know. Well, sure. But it's a lovely town. More people are going to want to be here. 
Chicago's always been a nice little town. Mm -hmm. Now over here on the left, is that like a retirement community? Yeah, these are apartments for um, retirement. Retirement apartments. There's uh, Casey's General Store, which is... It's really turned into kind of like the lifeblood of this community. They've got something for... Oh, look! It's Tomater! <laughs> His eyes are all snowed out. They've got Casey's, which is uh, you know the lifeblood of this place, open on Christmas. And once again, if you've never had a Casey's pizza, get it. They've got All Smiles Dental Care. There's a war memorial. And they have a lovely war memorial. And then this uh, is new this year. We got a we had donations put up for um, a town square Christmas tree. So we got one this year, and they put it up. And this was all paid for by donations from people in and around the community. That's so, beautiful. And Next it's lit up at night. Next year, I'd like to get a shot of putting that up. I want to find, find out when that's going up. And they've got you know a nice little downtown here. There's a couple of restaurants. There's is there even a, is there a bar down here? Um, I don't know as though we have a bar. Oh, okay. And I've got True Value Hardware Store. Some of these small town hardware stores. And they have like a little ice cream window. Huh. You find the best hardware stores ever. These laundry. people know what they're doing. Got a little laundromat. And yeah, Papa's Burger Mill. Ah, uh, yes. We actually did a separate video about Papa's Burger Mill. Really, really good burger. And uh, you know, rather unique decor. Make sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the description. Go down to the park. Yeah, get a go on they this have video. Decorated for Christmas. A lovely shot of the park. And then the fairgrounds. Is the fair coming back? Yeah, we do the fair every year. Well, I thought they took a break for a while. No. The river's down. Oh, poor river. Torque. Don't be down. Oh, little baseball fields. There's a, it's called Markley Grove Park. And these little gingerbread have people's names on it. Oh, they, that's cute. We donate. Ooh, slow down so I get a shot of one. You do donate, then they get uh, gingerbread with your name on it. Oh, nice little fundraiser. Yep. See, I like it. Instead of raising taxes, what they do is they think of different ways to get the money going. That's kind of nice. That's the Scout Hall. We talked about that before. Yep. We rented out for certain venues. Oh, look at the snowman over there. Oh, that's cute. I don't think it's a real snowman, but still. Oh, it looks good enough. It's cute. And then they got a tree. Aww. Each of the shelter houses, Dad said each of the shelter houses, they put a Christmas tree with lights on it. Oh, well, that's cool. We got a tree there. What a beautiful scene. See, the, all the snow is fresh. Yeah, it only just night. went rain last night. It's you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon here, so it hasn't been down that long. Well, everybody, that was just a quick winter tour of Minneapolis, Kansas. Thank you to everybody who tunes in on a regular basis. I really appreciate you. And in the coming year, I've got some fun things planned, and uh, we're going to really have a good time together. Thanks so much. I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever makes you happy. Take care.